Okay, so uh, commercial and creative food photo. Um, I have some specifics uh, with the uh, place where I live because I live in the pool of cold uh, and it is really cold here in winter. We have minus 50, minus 60 degrees uh, below zero. It is really cold in winter and of course we cannot hang out outside, just walk outside and that's why we have lots of restaurants and cafes uh, where people prefer to meet with friends to talk about business and of course uh, um, restaurants need a food photographers because we have lots of different types of restaurants like um, Russian, Yakutian, Georgian, Asian, um, Italian, European and uh, a photographer should be universal here. And um, of course, not all uh, native people know um, how know how this or that dish looks like, and they prefer menus with pictures. Uh, and 95 menus uh, in uh, restaurants here have uh, food photographers because it is easy to choose the dish in in restaurant. And um, uh, restaurants uh, want their menu to be special that they discuss uh, before we start to work. Uh, and we, we start to work with designers, with managers. Menu never starts from a food photographer. Menu starts from a designer. Uh, because uh, each restaurant has its own concept, its own uh, style, its own interior. And... Um, also, we, dis uh, and we al always discuss uh, how to make uh, pictures. And uh, we can show the next slide. Mm -hmm. And the next. <laughs> well, as you can see, um, this is Russian restaurant. Uh, when it is national res restaurant, for instance, Russian, Yakutian, or Georgian, they prefer uh, complicated compositions, for instance, with different um, decorations, props and uh, even with the uh, national dresses to show their individuality, to show the uh, national character. And that's why uh, here you see uh, different, uh, like even musical instruments like uh, balalaika <laughs> and karmoshka. <laughs> and here we have the famous Russian dish borscht. Uh, and it shows the character of the menu and it shows the character of the restaurant. Here we have Geor Georgian uh, menu. It also has its own character and own stylistic, and they prefer uh, complicated compositions too, uh, with different props. And the next, the next slide, uh, we have uh, Yakutian restaurant. Actually, Yakutia is a part of Russia, but um, it is really different from uh, uh, from Russia because uh, you can see my face. It is more than a more Asian than Slovenian, <laughs> and we have our our own uh, language, our own uh, national and traditional uh, culture, and uh, our cooking is completely different. And that's why. Uh, restaurants want to show it and uh, we see the uh, dresses and plates and cups are really different from um, Russian restaurant and we, uh, they want to show it too and uh, they prefer complicated compositions and here we have um, okay the next one <laughs> it was about European restaurant you see the differences because um, uh, when it is European restaurant, they prefer bright lights, uh, minimalism, when the main accent is the dish, when, when the main hero is the dish. Uh, and uh, mostly it is not dark photo, uh, but it is uh, uh, bright and light and soft photos. Uh -huh. And so in, 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 the next time, uh, in the next slide, it is, um, uh, well, in design. Mm -hmm. The next uh, is Asian restaurant. It is um, completely different. Uh, here we work with light, with shadows, with colors. Uh, they prefer minimalism, geometric styles. And uh, uh, you see uh, that here we use uh, artificial light. Uh, mostly in my uh, food, food photography, in my commercial work, I use artificial light because um, 
it is also about uh, the specifics of, of my region because in winter we have polar nights and we don't have uh, daylight at all. So it is mostly dark in uh, outside. But in uh, summer, the sun doesn't set. So this <laughs> completely different uh, climate in, in uh, winter and in summer. And that's why in winter, I prefer use, uh, to use artificial light uh, and um, in commercial photography too. But in books and in magazines, uh, it is about atmosphere. I use their um, daylight. And the next light is uh, about Asian restaurants, uh, restaurants too. Uh, you see the minimalism and uh, it seems to be easy to shoot the photos like that, but no, because the dish should be ideal, the shapes should be ideal and the light should be ideal too. <laughs> because uh, uh, even a little drop of something uh, should, uh, will, will be watched here. So it, be, it should be clear, uh, clean photography in such kind of menus. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, about levitation. So uh, in commercial photography, um, it is about task. We work by task, on task, in task. <laughs> uh, uh, the photos should be like a customer wants because, um, well, it, it, is, it is work for him. Uh, and creativity is not always about commercial photography, but sometimes in menus we can uh, use levitation, make uh, photos like this, but not all menu, but, um, some, some pages of it. Uh, and um, these uh, here, you, you see uh, some pictures of levitation. Okay, and then the next. Mm -hmm. Well, children's, children's menu, here you can use uh, your uh, fantasy, <laughs> uh, your imagination, because children's like um, colors, uh, like uh, fairy tales. And here you see, uh, we made a menu, a menu um, uh, from Alice uh, from Wonderland. And here we have a rabbit and some, some props and stuffs uh, uh, from this fairy tale and uh, well in in children's uh, menu you can use all creativity <laughs> as you as you can and as you like of course before dis uh, before discussing with a customer with a with a restaurant uh-huh okay drinks uh, well drinks um, here you should work uh, clearly with um, artificial light because the glasses should be ideal clean uh, the colors should be uh, well uh, um, very bright and uh, um, usually when we make menus well, pictures for menus uh, we make uh, drinks and it is a separate part of the menu mm -hmm. and oh okay <laughs> when we shoot menus uh, we uh, shoot sometimes uh, cheese uh, and that's why you should uh, make and uh, make photos with people and uh, make, uh, make light uh, how to how to put the light uh, to show the people because, because uh, people are bigger than, <laughs> than dishes and uh, uh, you should work with it too. Uh, in many, sometimes uh, customers want to show their shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we come to uh, books and magazines. I was an editor of my own cooking magazine and uh, I edited my own cooking books it is really different from what I make in commercial photography because um, the book is about atmosphere, about your character, about your soul, about your maybe some, it is more soft, more um, about the place where you live. And here I show not only food photography, but some landscapes and uh, some creative stuffs and, um, here you see uh, the covers and the covers with children, with uh, 
uh, landscapes with the, in the field, with table settings. Uh, and uh, I made I make the book uh, from uh, my uh, national uh, dish with my national dish, like here. <laughs> you see, I don't know. <laughs> it is about atmosphere. Uh, it is about culture, about people, not only the dishes and not only the um, uh, cooking, about atmosphere. And I'll try to show and I'll try to tell the traditions and what we eat, what kind of products we have. And um, just it is a sto about storytelling, you know, and um, uh, it is very interesting to, but hard work and very long uh, work to publish one book. At this moment, I have six books and they're quite popular in my region and in Russia. And I sell them. <laughs> and it, it is a big part of my work. Okay, the next slide. Mm -hmm. uh, magazines. Magazines uh, prefer... I work, uh, I was an editor of my own magazine and I make articles for my mag magazine, cooking articles uh, in Yakutia and in Russia. And they prefer um, some home style, you know, uh, when pictures like, uh, like in your kitchen, when they, uh, they are cute or <laughs> and lights. And lights, and not dark uh, photos, but light photos. For instance, this magazine. Um, it is magazine for women. Mm -hmm. And you see the pictures like this with flowers, uh, with uh, light. Uh, th this picture were made in daylight. Daylight, I don't use artificial light here. Uh, so such kind of photos are popular in my place uh, with, uh, uh, with with photo. Okay, and the next slide. Mm -hmm. And here we come uh, to blog. Now, uh, blog uh, in Instagram, uh, this is not about task. This is not about commercial photography. And this is about creativity because um, now we have lots of lots of talented and creative and really professional photographer food photographers in instagram and it's quite hard for beginners to be noticed and that's why and it's sometimes boring to see the same the same the same photos uh when it it is uh, always in dark style or it, when it is always in bright style, you should wonder. In Instagram, you should wonder. Uh, here you can use all your creati creativity and uh, show your, all your skills. And now in Reels, we, uh, reels we, uh, we uh, make videos. And at this moment, I like to make videos too, not only photo photos. Uh, and... Um, uh, this is about storytelling too, uh, about atmosphere, about your uh, vision of food photographer and um, what I do to wonder people, <laughs> what I do, the, what kind of creative stuff I do in my blog. So, uh, and by the way, the, um, your blog should be not only beautiful but um you should share something uh for instance when you a uh, food photographer they uh, usually show the backstages uh in my blog i share recipes uh and um, show backstages too and uh, make videos uh-huh in <laughs> the next slide okay uh for instance as you see uh, 60 persons uh, in my blog is recipes, then 30 percent is creativity, and 10 percent videos. It, it is just my vision of my blog, and um, uh, people come to relax. I don't write about negative because the negative is <laughs> around us. That I like to be positive. Uh, to make smile, to to use humor in my uh, blog, and uh, well, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. And here we see 
the uh, dishes from uh, cinemas and fairy tales. For instance, I made, uh, I made um, pumpkin juice from Harry Potter, then uh, Paddington and with, with his uh, apple, apple jam, then a bread uh, from Lord of Rings, Limbas, and people just were really wonder and they just say, wow, <laughs> it is so amazing. They like such kind of uh, food photos and storytelling. Uh, and it, for me, it is a really good uh, experience because uh, in such kind of photos, I use costumes, I use some different props and I, uh, I uh, found them. I <laughs> uh, it is really interesting for me to make such kind of photos and people like it uh, because just simple recipes are just simple recipes. But when you make such kind of photos, they just uh, surprise and uh, interest in it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and ta ta uh, table settings. I like to show um, the place where I live and that's why I travel a lot and I combine traveling with uh, a food photographer, food photography, because um, we have really different landscapes, uh, really different uh, nature and climate and people interested uh, interest in it. And I just climb the mountains and make the, the, Lord, or, uh, the Lord of Rings and then I make table settings outside uh, in the fields of flowers. And uh, I make pictures with camping uh, or maybe with um, lights in evening and with friends in the fields. It, it is really interesting and uh, also about storytelling and uh, make uh, differences and freshness to my blog uh, between the recipes, okay? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is so cute. I make pictures with uh, pets and animals because they're really cute and people love them. Uh, for instance, in um, uh, the house where, near the house where I live, I have squirrels. The squirrels live in my yard and just round, <laughs> uh, run around me and I make, make pictures with mushrooms and squirrels, with berries and squirrels. And sometimes they even come to my table and, uh, and they want to be a model. <laughs> and I have a dog husky uh, and she's uh, really active and uh, cute and amazing and people love to watch it. And I make pictures with my husky. Uh, so this is uh, the way uh, how the people uh, just wonder and interest in, in what I do and make differences in uh, freshness in my uh, blog. Okay. Mm -hmm. And food photos with children. As uh, I have two kids, <laughs> a boy and a girl, and um, we like to uh, cook together and uh, travel together. And uh, they are my models too. And I, uh, sometimes I make uh, food photos with them. And uh, my last picture is about um, cooking with children and uh, uh, dishes for children and cooking with children. Uh, it is not easy, I know, but <laughs> I'll try to do that because, um, and here I see not only my children, but uh, children uh, with national costumes, with national dishes. Here you see the ice table and ice chairs. It was really interesting and uh, <laughs> uh, part of session for me. Uh, and it was really long for the session in minus uh, 40, uh, mi minus, uh, uh, um, yes, minus 40 degrees below zero. It is really, it was really cold, but we tried to do our best. That's why the table and the um, uh, ch chairs are from ice. <laughs> and uh, the next, the photo which is near, it is in autumn. 
okay and in summer and different seasons and uh, these photos were made with the daylight too I like and the uh, they use the sun and uh, the cloudy uh, weather I don't mind <laughs> uh, okay and the next slide aha uh -huh, process um, uh, the process when you show the process some splashes some when something dr uh, drops and etc uh, people like such kind of photos because it is um, well uh, like dynamic you know and um, such kind of photos are always uh, one of the best photos <laughs> in my blog with many likes <laughs> and I use artificial light here because it is much easier to make uh, such kind of photos with artificial light and the quality is better and um, the clear, the phot photography is clear and uh, such kind of photos I prefer to shoot uh, in dark, uh, dark composition because in dark photo, all the drops yeah, you can see all drops and it is really amazing to uh, make such kind of peoples in dark photos. Okay. Macro. <laughs> oh, I love macro. Macro in, even uh, shoot it in, with a foot photo too, but not only in, uh, with foot photo. Uh, macro is, uh, is a different planet, you know. Uh, I like to make uh, mushrooms and berries and with insects uh, and it looks uh, interesting. Uh, well, you see some, uh, imagine that you see plates, 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 and then macro. <laughs> Suddenly macro in my blog. <laughs> and it is uh, always, always make wow effect. Um, I usually use artificial light here because um, um, it, it is better to, to, to make it in artificial light. It is really sharp uh, and all the det you can see the, all, all the details in the photos uh, and uh, to see clearly the uh, insects and all the details. Um, I, I usually uh, make the uh, um, snowflakes and uh, butterflies and in some flowers and in and with photo too for instance with berries mm -hmm. and uh it is it is always very good uh, for audience and they like such kind of photos too okay uh and now we come to uh multi exposition how do you think uh, uh did i use photoshop here or not it's a question <laughs> for you. <laughs> Just try to guess whether I use um, Photoshop or not in, the, in such kind of photos. I don't see the answers. <laughs> la, 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 la. No, I don't see your answers, unfortunately. Well, I'll tell you. Uh, so, um, it is not a double exp uh, no it's a double exp exp uh, uh -huh. <laughs> so i use multi exposition it is a very good function in your camera when um when your camera itself combine uh, several photos so you don't use any photoshop you make several photos and your your camera combines combines it uh, for instance, in the uh, first picture, I used uh, six photos uh, and I used my uh, tripod, uh, put camera in tripod and make six pic made six pictures and my camera itself uh, combined these uh, photos uh, to one picture. Uh, not all cameras have, have, uh, have this function but my camera has. Uh, in, se in, this, in second picture, we see uh, two pictures. 
uh, and in, th in third uh, picture, I combine two. <laughs> and it is really a good function to show your creativity, to show your uh, fantasy. Uh, and I use uh, this function not only with a food photo, but uh, when I shoot people uh, and uh, when I sh shoot landscapes. Uh, if, you, if you have never heard about that, just try. It is really amazing to make creative food photos. Uh, it is called multi-exposition. And uh, just uh, show you, uh, have a look at your camera. I don't, not all cameras have, have this function, but my, uh, <laughs> Nikon and Canon have them, but not all uh, cameras. Okay, so, uh, and I just want to tell you, try to do your best in uh, uh, food photography. If you have some questions, uh, just ask and I'll try to tell you. Wow, <laughs> okay, Natalie, well, I've just met a god in creative photography. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Oh, so, wow. So beautiful. And you have just shown like your soul in all of this picture. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so amazing. We are so lucky to have you tonight. Today. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I, but um, uh -huh. I have a question, Natalie. Mm -hmm. um, uh, can you uh, tell us about your workflow uh, when you want to create an art? Like, mm -hmm. um, how do you plan? How do you execute? And then how? Um, yeah, how do you review all the picture? And then uh, what is your uh, how? How you think? Um, the idea. Is it good? Is it not good? Yeah. How how to, uh, how your workflow from uh, mm -hmm. your, before you take and until it's finished. Okay. Uh, when I work uh, for a commercial photographer, of course, it is about the task. We discuss with the designers, with managers, what should we, what should we do, what kind of photo phones we should use, what kind of light we should use, uh, how the pictures will be combined in the menu. And uh, we discuss this, and it, it, is the, it is the task. When I shoot for my blog, it is usually suddenly ideas, you know, when I see some uh, cinema pictures and cinemas and some fair, I read some fairy tales, suddenly, wow, <laughs> this is what I sh have to do. <laughs> and just I, ru I run and uh, found some props and just in pro the, everything um, appears in process. I, I do not plan my words in a blog. I do not plan. It is always suddenly. <laughs> ah, I see. Okay. So, um, yeah, for your blog, do you have certain schedule how mm -hmm. you do this? Because actually, uh, for me, um, I want to shoot that my words my my mm -hmm. own creativity and my own imagination but sometimes like it's very hard to find the perfect time and the, the perfect moment so uh, <laughs> how you commit yourself to do this <laughs> well i like i love it you know I, I this this is not only a work for me and I, this is just, you know, from the soul. I just want to share, want to do this. Uh, actually, I was a bank worker. Uh, uh, I work, uh, worked in the bank for six years. Uh, six years. But um, when I have children, I just found myself in photography. I just started to cook. I, li I liked cooking. And then I wanted to show, to share recipes. And uh, I just started to learn how to make it. It was a really uh, interesting and long way to the, to the food photography. But uh, at this time, it is, it is like, you know, uh, I'm like a fish in a 
river or in ocean <laughs> it is my 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 house or my, <laughs> my planet the photography is my planet and i love to do it and uh it is from the soul i just i don't think about oh today i'm gonna to post something no not like that <laughs> i like to do that mm -hmm. oh wow amazing okay and then um, I want to ask about how you um, how you make sure that um, okay. I want to rephrase my question. How to challenge <laughs> yourself? How how you challenge yourself? Like you you do many kinds of photography, and then mm -hmm. uh, for most people, mm -hmm. like when when uh, a person like already master certain mm -hmm. area of photography and there's a resistance to move to another one like shoot with uh, people shoot with animal and then do the multi exposure and then do the yeah how you deal with that oh okay uh, you know mm, i'm quite curious because um i i, I want to uh, go from the plate a little bit <laughs> because the world is so big and so interesting i like to make pictures of stars it is really wonderful and i uh, used to uh, make such kind of people's uh, photos and i try to combine it with uh, with a food photography <laughs> because i'm curious you know I, I like not only food photography but diff i like to try other uh, spheres too. But of course, my main work is uh, food photography. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes, yeah. And then, what is your biggest challenge um, Yeah, while doing the, your work usually? Uh, challenge? Well, my, my biggest experience or, or, or what? Ah, okay. uh -huh. yes. uh, so uh, the most interesting photo photography w which I made is about Lord of Rings because uh, <laughs> we climbed the mountain. It, is it was really high <laughs> and we made some costumes. Yes, this. And I, I made this picture with my friends and... Uh, they are a little, they are a little bit crazy <laughs> like me <laughs> because we traveled a lot to find this place and uh, my friends made these hats this is my sister uh, in, uh, in in the role of Gandalf <laughs> and we made this bread and we made these leaves and we lived in uh campings uh, five days to make this picture you know but it was it was really interesting experience for me and i i am sure when i will be uh, a grandma <laughs> i will, <laughs> will remember this moment <laughs> it, it, it was wow. it, it was quite remarkable for me okay mm -hmm. oh. So amazing. Uh, how, how you get this costume? <laughs> <laughs> we made it by ourselves. Yes, it is, it is handmade costumes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. So mm -hmm. amazing. I really love this one. Ah, I want to ask how you do this one. <laughs> ah. Can you tell us a story? How you well, we really soon we'll have you. some Christmas time and you can make such kind of photos too. <laughs> well, of course, I use Photoshop here, um, here, and I put my children uh, on the ground <laughs> and <laughs> shoot uh, three uh, separated photos. And then I make a picture with, uh, with the fl flower, fl flower, <laughs> and then combine it in Photoshop. Yes, and uh, uh, make the same light w with children and with uh, or with uh, uh, cookies, and then combine it. Yes, <laughs> it was uh, fun experience. 
Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. So, wow, your children have tons of beautiful pictures. <laughs> yes. <want> be. <laughs> Netherlands children. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, so we have a question here. Mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, let me see, let me see. Okay. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, how you um, how you do? Uh, it is a technical composition, but yeah, how you uh plan your uh, how you plan your composition in mm -hmm. photography. Well, at first it was when I just started to uh, make it. Of course, um, when I made such uh, some photos, uh, it, it took m much time, you know, because uh, you don't know how put the these or that prop where to find the place to all the subjects. It was kind of difficult, but when you uh, practice a lot, you just make it quickly <laughs> because i don't know it was it, it is really quickly now <laughs> i don't think about it <laughs> because i i make it automatically you know but of course uh, but it is just some skills uh and uh, when you work when you practice when you shoot 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 a lot of lot of pictures uh so mm, i know that uh some photographers uh, uh make for instance some conspects i don't know uh, pictures where this or that uh subject uh, should be for instance but i don't do that i always start and work in process sometimes i plan maybe i have some plans in my he head but i make completely different photo in the result <laughs> because i change everything i use to bring this and then uh take out that and just mess everything and in final results i have of course i use the uh, principle main principles of composition it is uh well um it is of course uh some rule we have some rules and etc but uh all I do in process, and um, I make it. I make make it quickly. Ah, uh, I see. Okay, mm -hmm. so we have a question from Aziz. Okay, I mm -hmm. like your energy, Natalie. I'm not a creative, <laughs> but you. I'm not a creative person. How can mm -hmm. I become a creative in food photography? Because I tend to frustrate myself for having not having ideas end up copying mm -hmm. another photo, uh, anyone's photo. So, yeah, how do you deal with that? Okay, when your uh, ideas not like um, come, come, come every day, you know, uh, and sometimes uh, we have just don't know what to shoot, like, what should I do today? <laughs> 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 and some, uh, at this time, I just watch some movies, uh, just um, uh, see Pinterest, you know, just uh, to take inspiration. And I don't try to copy, but maybe the atmosphere of uh, some photo inspire me to do something. And I try to do something, but not the similar, but, but the idea, wow, it's just, you know, the light in your eyes and you want to do something. Uh, and uh, don't be shy. You know, nobody will uh, angry for you that your photo is not so perfect, you know. Just try to do uh, try to do the best you can and don't be shy. Uh, <laughs> I am not a shy person at all. <laughs> I'll try it. <laughs> Marco, okay, Marco, landscapes, oh, okay, landscapes. So <laughs> uh, it is easy for me, but not all people like that, for instance. My daughter is quite shy, for instance, and she she don't like to show her emotions and and everything, but uh, I uh, make videos with uh, that fairy tales, fairy tales that she likes, and she have she has interest in it, and then she is in the process, and uh, she do her best to be a good model <laughs> in the photo. So don't be shy. Try, try to do uh, find ideas uh, because 
they are around us actually in movies in in uh, in pictures in in art you know not only in photography and i inspire i uh, take the inspiration from nature for instance uh just the um, drops of the rain you know the atmosphere of the rain and the autumn leaves and the uh sun uh sad and sunrise it is really inspire me to stand up from my chair and run and to take camera and to do something <laughs> okay. Oh, okay and then yeah <clears throat> we also have question from uh farhan nizar um mm -hmm. how much you shot um until you finally choose one beautiful photo for uh, for you to post okay and how you choose mm -hmm. that photo you know when you take so many and then sometimes get frustrated uh, which one is better than another one yeah uh, from the series <laughs> from the uh, how do i uh, choose the uh, one photo from uh, from many many photos Oh yeah. Um, uh, first, I shoot, for instance, a cup. Then I add the flower. Then I add something else, and <laughs> something else, and and something else, and, and and something else, and then finally I have the composition. Uh, and um, usually, the last one is the best one for me <laughs> because <laughs> because. I put everything. I'll try different lights, and in in the final uh, photo, it is the best uh, photo I, I choose. I don't even watch what uh, what it was before, and then I come to the final photo and choose it. But um, well, so I I I, <laughs> I do such kind of uh, choosing in my photos. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Okay, so um, I have seen you have so many activity. Like you also uh, do the uh, blogging. You do the food photography for clients. You design menu for restaurants, and you do for magazine. You write your, your own books. So, uh, for now, which one is your main focus? Mm hmm. Uh, at this moment, my main focus uh, focus in books. I like because it is me, you know, because it is me, I can express everything I want in my books. I can publish everything <laughs> what I want uh, because when it is commercial photography, it is not you, you know, it is the task and uh, you should do what a customer wants. But in books, you you are you. <laughs> you are like like me, like Natalie, you know. And um, and it it, it makes it, it brings money to and more money when I um, use for uh, uh, for commercial photography for restaurants. Uh, that's why I prefer books, <laughs> editing books now. But of course, it is uh, it has some specifics. You should know how to print the books and because printing is the main problem the printing can can make your photo uh, for instance yellow or pink or something like that and you should control all the processes processes in uh, editing books from uh, starting from cooking the dish then uh, then photo making photo then work with a designer, then um, just uh, print it and then sell it. It is long, a long uh, process from start to the money, for instance. <laughs> and uh, when you work in a commercial photography, it is, uh, it is very short, short uh, road. You shoot and you take money for instance and uh, in a book in, in editing books it is a really different story but i like it uh, it is because it is me and you sh you can express uh, everything all your skills and um to talk with your audience with the help of your books 
Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. Okay, so I have a quick next question. How mm -hmm. to find this book? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, uh, is there an I, English I, version for this? Uh, I will tell you one secret. I'll, uh, next year, I will publish a book in English. <laughs> Whoa! Yes. Okay. And <laughs> it was a top secret, but I'll, I'll tell you today about it. Uh, all my books are in Russian. That's why um, they are selling in Russian, in, ter in the territory of Russia. But um, next year, you, you, will, you will be able to buy the book in English. Wow, okay. So um, tell us a little story about each of your books. Okay, so, uh -huh. so we know which one we want to start with. <laughs> uh, so um, each book has its own uh, line, its own character. For instance, one book uh, is about children. One book is about my national dishes and culture. Then the next book is about uh, landscapes, uh, make the mixture of, of landscapes and uh, food photography. And they have each of my books has its own uh, line and character. And uh, I started to, uh, at first I worked with editors. And then I just decided that uh, it is better to work, uh, to publish yourself because editors uh, just correct everything. They correct the text, they correct the name of the book, they correct the, uh, the pages, for instance, the couple of pages, <laughs> and they correct everything and they uh, and sometimes you you feel that it is not you, but when you edit yourself, and uh, when you a an editor yourself, it is much better to work. Uh, and um, I prefer to, uh, to 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 edit myself at this moment. And uh, you can find them in my Instagram page in my site. I have the site and. Um, uh, each uh, of my follower can buy it and we uh, we uh, send them in america in china in different part of <laughs> parts of the world uh and so it is easy to find them yes natalie shop <laughs> okay wow okay so wow we are so blessed of having you for today. I really feel your energy, your passion. <laughs> Thank you Whoa. for the invitation. It was really, uh, it's, it's a pleasure to talk to you. And I haven't uh, an experience to talk in English, actually. It is my <laughs> first time to talk in, in English. I have I hope you understand understand me. <laughs> ah, ah, wow, your English is really good. I can understand very clearly. Uh, do okay, you teach, thank you. Uh, do you teach photography? Yes, I may I make some courses and um, at this moment in Russian, but if you are interested <laughs> in English, I will try I will try to make courses. How to how I make um, schemes, light schemes, it is really uh, um, well important in photography. I, I like counter light usually in uh, 90 for 90 percent of my photographer photographies are in counter light and uh, reflectors and etc lots of props and <laughs> stuff <laughs> in it so if you are interested just write me i'll try to to do something maybe some course in english Wow, sure, sure. We are we are so excited to wait to <laughs> launch your English course. Wow. It's very amazing. So, okay, it's already an hour. Wow. Thank you so much for uh for sharing today. Just meeting you and see your works, I think uh, now I am more creative. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you for your invitation. It was really nice to talk to you. You are so positive. 
and you are so <laughs> energetical. <laughs> yeah, we are similar, yeah. you know. <laughs> wow. Okay. So I hope maybe one day we can collaborate again. Wow. Okay. So I'll see you again in the next event, maybe. Okay. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Goodbye. Nice to meet bye. you. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>